future Brooklyn coming to you live. Once again, I forgot to film an intro to this vlog and you will see me pop in and out of this video due to the fact that I kind of forgot to talk in some bits, but I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. It might not be up to my month and vlog standards, but it is a more decent vlog. There are montages, not just me talking for minutes upon minutes. I've never made the hour mark, so hope you guys enjoy. I do apologize because this video is all over the place. I totally planned on filming it and making it really good, like my Toronto vlog, which kind of needed help, but like my Moncton vlog. Um, but I just got really excited that I was home for the first time in a little bit. And every time I come home, I just get busier and busier. So yeah, it's a little bit jumpy, but I hope you guys enjoy anyways, and let's roll the footage. Another day, another life in the hotel. Oh. I'm so happy my aunt's in town. I worked all day and then I got off um, a little after four, now we're in the hotel and we're about to go to Don Cherry's. I'm gonna stay here with her tonight. Then we're gonna leave early. She didn't want to stay in my apartment. I don't blame her. I don't want to stay there half the time. So, yeah. We just decided not to stay in my apartment, make a little trip out of it. I wish we were in a different town, but it is kind of late. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this Canada Day weekend. Also, I'm going to really work hard when we get back tonight um, on my old vlogs that I have stocked up. Spin real room. Bye. Kept a pineapple in this fridge overnight. My aunt's going to be mad because I'm just sitting meeting her somewhere. But yeah. The intelligence is there, the technology is there, the government's intact. So there is a separation between the terrorists came from that actually have systems in place to prevent it. So we're about an hour and a half to two hours into this trip. I look like a hot mess. Um, it's raining, but it's been good. I'm pretty excited that I'm gonna go to my hometown for Canada Day weekend. I mean, I spent 18 years of my life there. Um, so it's kind of cool to celebrate Canada's 150 in my hometown. And it's also kind of cool because I guess when Canada turned 130, I would have been born. So sorry, this is kind of shaky. Set a gas station. My aunt just went inside to pay and go to the bathroom. I need to get my nails done or paint them myself while I'm home. It's a couple things I want to pick up. Um, kind of hungry. We didn't eat yet. We had a couple like junk foodie snacks, but other than that, we really haven't been doing much. I stopped in Mass Town, Nova Scotia at the Mass Town Market. At least I believe it's Mass Town, Nova Scotia. This is my first time at the market, ironically, because I've lived here for two years and I drive by this market all the time. I have driven by this market, I would say probably close to 20 times, if not more. Um... But yeah, so it was just really cute and here are a couple clips I got from inside the market. It was packed. Um, I mean, it was a Friday before the long weekend, um, but it was just so cute. It reminded me of Old Orchard um, Beach in Maine, like all like the beachy themed things, even though it's not necessarily near a beach, I could be wrong. Um, it's off a highway, <laughs> but yeah, and I really miss Old Orchard and I miss going to Maine all the time. But I really do enjoy living in Cape Breton. There are so many beaches. The first thing I did when I got home was go to Laudan's Drugs. I love looking at all the makeup there. It's definitely my favorite store. I do have one in my new town, but nothing beats the one where I grew up.
Here are a few clips from a drive I took with my friends. They are kind of embarrassing, but they're memories I'm very fond of. Ironically, on Canada's birthday, one of the reasons why I came home, I did not really get any clips. I got this one clip of my friend um, singing in the car, but on Canada Day, I had a pretty relaxed and chill morning. I just spent it with my family and my pets at home, and then I got ready to go out, and me and my friends went on a little Canada Day drive. Um, we got Tim Hortons, which was good, and we got Tim Bits, which I wanted so bad, and then we just hung out for the night. It was raining, so unfortunately all the cool things we wanted to do were either cancelled or we didn't want to go in the rain. Because I didn't... I don't even think I brought a raincoat. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the fireworks were cancelled that night, so we just had a chill night in, had a couple drinks, had a lot of laughs, and I had to go home so my mom came to get me because it was her birthday the next day and I had a lot to do especially because I was hanging out with some of my other friends because my friend Abby's birthday was on the third and Canada Day is actually my bud who's like again my godmother's birthday um so she was coming over on the second so we were just celebrating all the birthdays at once but it was really fun. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Abby. Happy birthday to you. The next few clips are from one of my favorite places. It is um, Cape Spencer Lighthouse. Um, I really like it. There are some trails. I have yet to make it down all the way to the rocks just because there are literal signs that say do not go far. <laughs> um, so yeah, I made it onto some rocks which were fine but they weren't like the ones very very close to the ocean. I always end up going to this place when it's like rainy and foggy but I had a lot of fun. I went with Abby and Sarah, two of like my best friends from high school. I went there last summer too but I went with my friend Madison um, and I always take a picture of me overlooking the water so it's kind of cool to see like the different ones every year but this is one of my favorite places and it's super pretty. I did not bring shoes for this. Wait. Huh. I'm good. It is not a trip home for me unless I go to the Irving Nature Park, which is one of my favorite places. There are so many hiking trails, people go biking, you can go swimming, there are beaches. I love like the little boardwalk out into like the creek um, kind of thing and there's like a mud 
dang I'm so bad at explaining nature I deeply apologize this is one of my favorite places and I always spend my summers exploring in there especially last summer and the summer before that I have done so many photo shoots here throughout my entire life um, they were professionally done me and my friends do them I dragged them along to do photo shoots with me last year a lot of the photos didn't actually turn out that good but it was still it was still super fun. I got bit by so many bugs, but it was really great. And I love doing like outdoorsy things. I love walking the trails I grew up with. And it was really fun to do it with my friends as well. We always do this kind of stuff together. <laughs> I took my mom out to her birthday dinner at one of our old favorite restaurants, Mama George's. Um, it has changed a little bit, so it wasn't the same, but it was still good. And then on the way home, I saw one of the prettiest sunsets. I thought Cape Breton had really pretty sunsets, but the sunset in my hometown was gorgeous. <laughs> On Monday, I hung out with my friend Shaylin. We just chilled. I was kind of tired from all like the hiking I did the night before or the day before and sometimes like these trips really take a toll on me, especially because I traveled for a month straight. I was in Toronto, Moncton, the next week and I went to Halifax so I knew I had a lot more stuff coming up and I already did so much that my body was a little tired. So the next clip you're about to see is when I went to go visit my grandma mother's grave and I normally am not the type of person that would put it on camera but I just wanted to open up to you guys more especially because on my main channel I had the whole series about losing a loved one and it's just a part of my life um not everything is happy um go lucky that's a really real moment for me it's raw footage it's unedited so it's kind of shitty I apologize but I hope you guys understand why I put it in and if you can relate to it. I'm glad death is something a lot of people don't talk about and it's really hard when you lose someone, especially when you don't know how to deal with it. So that's why I have this series and that's why I'm so open with it because I didn't have um, anyone to talk to when it happened. So this is really raw footage and I'm really opening myself up in this next clip. Every time I come home, I try to visit here. Um, this is a place that I first went to when I got my driver's license. This is a place where I go to when I feel like my life is falling apart. And this is a place I go to when I have good news to share. I'm just going to turn off my car real quick. This is the graveyard where my grandmother is buried. And she was the closest person to me my entire life. We were best friends. She was my whole world. She was my hero. I love her so much and I love her more than anything. And I didn't get to come here when I came back for a visit in April, unfortunately. I just had a lot going on that trip, but I just dropped my friend Shay off and I was kind of in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd come stop by just kind of grounding um I think about her every day of my life and I'm really opening up in this vlog to you guys um yeah as soon as I got my license when I was able to drive alone this is the first place I came to last summer when I felt like my life was falling apart I drove here and just cried for a good 30 minutes this is this is where she is and although I feel like she's with me no matter where I am I just it's a respect thing I want to come here for her and yeah I hate driving so driving here just kind of gives me a little bit more motivation to drive um she never got to see me get my license because 
got my license a couple weeks after she died actually and that kind of bothers me because she was there when I got my permit, she was there when I turned 16, but she died two weeks before I turned 17 and two weeks before I got my license and a year before I graduated and I really wish she could have seen me graduate just because that was a really good moment for me. Um, just because like graduation's important. Anyways, I'm not, well I might as well say it. I didn't think I was going to make it to graduation, um, not being like dramatic or anything. I just honestly didn't think I was going to live that long. Um, you know, when she died and my life was a downhill spiral and then all that stuff happened to me um, during graduation like month, I just honestly didn't think I was going to make it to see my own graduation. And I did, so graduation was a pretty big deal for me, even though no one really made a big deal about it. Um, moving to Cape Breton was a big deal for me because I was alive, um, and clearly I didn't give up. Um, getting editor-in-chief was a pretty big deal for me because it was my first university job besides like my other um thing uh like my research coming executive vice president was a huge deal for me because I put myself out so much for that and again just not not really a big deal for anyone else but I know she would have made made a pretty big deal about it um well, and I really didn't think I was gonna cry here today um but yeah, I gotta, I gotta go. It's just a quick visit. Um, love you, Nan. Um, we'll visit again soon. And yeah, I'll see you guys later when I'm not full of tears. The next few clips are just a couple of clips of me chilling at home. When I got home, I was just getting ready to leave and I would just like to say this was the first time I was completely packed at a decent hour. Like I was packed up at before like 7 p.m. I'd say. I It was weird. Everything was packed up. The only thing I forgot was my black hat that I wear all the time. But yeah, it was pretty weird for me to actually be prepared. Buddy. This was my final morning at home. I actually didn't have to leave at 4 a.m., but I did have to leave kind of early. We left at 8, um, just because I had a board meeting that night for um, another board I sit on. This part is actually not for my job, it's for myself. It's like a government board, which is pretty cool because I was um, recommended to it when I was 19 and then I started like... Bye Milky. I'm gonna love and miss you. Yeah. Oh, Bobby. Come here. Ow. Your lip. Three. Now I'm not a writer. Okay. with my clothes on it. Two big beds, a wicked mini fridge, and I wish I had this in my dorm my freshman year. Reminds me of my um, 
if we make quiches, tea, even this thing. Man, drawers. Pretty okay view. It's nice to me. Back to work in the morning. I have documents to send. I just had a board meeting tonight for a different thing. But yeah, this floor is also hardwood. I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for a lot of vlogs in the future, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!